Hello everyone and welcome to Blameless, which is meant to be a first-person adventure game revolving around puzzle solving and with horror elements thrown in. And I believe it's all set inside an unfinished house, so that sounds pretty cool. It's also a free game, so if you want to try this out yourselves, by all means do so, I will leave a download link in the description down below. Now, let's start a new game. Hope you enjoy it. I'm an architect. Freelance. So I take job offers as they arise. So, when this guy called me, I was relieved I could finally get a paying job. He said he needed help with interior design for his house that he was building. I always respected people who could do construction, so I naturally agreed to come and take a look. I already had a couple of ideas. It was already quite late, but he insisted on me coming over the same day. I tried to comply, because I didn't want to lose this offer. I drove there with my car. His house was all the way over in the suburban area, quite remote, but with other houses nearby, a quiet place. The man met me at the front gate. It was a temporary fence, and the gate was made of rotting wooden planks. He started showing me around the yard. It seemed weird that there was a large garbage container blocking the way, so we had to go through the garage to get inside the house. He took me through the rooms, so I started looking around. At one point, I saw a stain first glance it seemed like brick dust, but then I realized it was blood, spilled on the floor. I thought that maybe there was another worker who got injured, so I turned to tell the man. That's when I saw his hand raised to hit me. He was holding a metal rod. Before I could defend myself, he hit me in the head. I must have passed out. I don't know how long I was out. <sighs> when I woke up, Somebody else was in control of your actions, almost as if you were a main character inside a video game. Right? Right, enough joking around. That's blood on the floor, right? Uh, that hurt. Alright. Well, I've got to be honest, I wasn't expecting the game to look this good after seeing the menu, but, uh... What a pleasant surprise this is. Okay. So, right. I see a question mark up there on the ceiling. Um, can we do anything with that? I'm assuming that's not like an item I can pick up, it's something I can examine. Might be able to get further through the attic. Okay. Okay, sure. Alright, I'll, I'll bear that in mind. I guess I can't just like... break this or something. Uh... Okay. Well, it is certainly an unfinished house. Insulation up there, tidy. Yeah, it's all good. The, this is nice. Alright. Okay, we're gonna need to hold something in place, apparently. This is pretty nice. Okay, look, we've got a couple of drawers here, and we can use them. Let's see. Okay, uh, I've got myself a hammer. Sure. What needs hammering, exactly? <laughs> Let's see. And, oh, hang on, there's something down there as well. Another question mark, but I can't actually examine it. I can't get out my magnifying glass. Maybe because I'm holding the hammer. Oh, it's just right-click to drop it. Okay, I'll, I guess I'll leave it down there. Let's take a look at these bloodstains. This blood does not look like it's the result of a banal injury. A banal injury? <laughs> you, you mean a banal injury. That's always the way I've pronounced it anyway. Oh, nice. It's like CSI or something. Uh, it seems fresh. The blood hasn't completely dried out yet. Okay, and what about this? This looks like something was being dragged across the bloodstain. It does, doesn't it? Hmm. And this is what he remarked upon before he was hit on the head, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, sure. I guess what we should probably do is check this door. Which, um, has just been installed by the looks of it. I can't get further through here. No. Oh. There's no door handle. You're right. Maybe we have to, uh... Maybe we have to make one? I don't know. Uh, let's see. What do we got down here? Lots of planks of wood. Do we have a flashlight or something? I suppose not. Uh, it's fairly well lit, I guess. Uh, There's just lots, lots and lots of wood. Lots of lots of stuff. We've got some pipes over here. Okay, let's go back to that drawer actually, or the uh, the drawers. So is there anything? Oh, hang on. Yeah, there's something else in here as well. Some what pliers or something? Okay, or wire cutters maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, I tell you what. Everything I find, I'm just going to leave down here just in case. This is my sort of tool section, I suppose. What's in here? Anything? No. Alright. Okay, and we have a uh, another sort of little clamp. 
apparently. Okay. Let's see. Is there a, uh, there's a jump. Oh, and there is a crouch as well. Can't mess with the electricity. Um, but I can pick this up. What is this? Some sort of, like, metal rod? Let's just drop that down. It's very thin. Um, would that go in the clamp, maybe? One of them? Maybe? Yes? Yeah, okay. Nope. Don't want don't to pick it up. Didn't actually mean to do that. Um, yep, yeah, tighten it up. Okay, alright. Don't think it can go any further. I should bend the rod, ah. but it's too tough to do by hand. Okay. Yep, that's that's a good idea. Well, I guess these aren't going to help, but maybe the hammer? Maybe I can hammer it a little bit? This end, I guess? No, it's not working. Uh, but if I drop it, I can use it again. So I guess the hammer is not the right tool to use. Uh, maybe there's more? I haven't really been over in that direction. What's this? We got like a, is that a trowel or something? Yeah, for, for brick laying or block laying or something. Yeah. Can't use that, though. Okay. This is this is quite fun, actually. Got a clamp here. Hey! We can actually use this. Um, Probably want to put it on a table. Can we put it, like, over here or something? No? This isn't the tool I need to use to, uh, to bend this or anything? Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to put it in my tool section. Let's leave it down there. There we are. Well, let's just keep exploring. This is okay. I think it only recently came out on Steam. I believe it's been out in, in other areas for a, a couple of weeks now, maybe longer. But this is the first I've heard of this game, and um, so far so good, I think. I like it. Okay, I wonder if... Can we use the bucket? Anything in the bucket? Alright, uh, what about this area here? Quite dark. Hang on, I did see... Oh, hang on. Oh, there's something here. What's this? Oh, it's a, a, a pipe? Okay, what, a copper pipe or something, maybe? What's this for? For the plumbing, maybe. Um, I guess let's try it. Yeah? Oh, oh, that's clever. I wouldn't have thought of that, to be honest, but yes, okay. Ah, you know what? Maybe we've bent it to be a door handle? I, I, let's try snipping it. Can we? No, 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 wrong tool. <laughs> Can we cut this off? There's no point doing this at the moment. Really? Okay. So we. Uh, how about if we just unclamp it? Oh, it's right click to spin it the other way. That's that's nice. And take it with us. Um, oh, maybe maybe it's for this actually. Maybe it's not for the door at all. Ah, right. Okay. We're making some progress. Well, forget about the door for the time being. We're uh, we're going up to the um, the attic, I suppose. What have we got up here? Shit, it's dark. You're right. It is. I know. I know. Way ahead of you. Maybe I should have brought a tool with me. Don't know. How was that? I'm not sure. We're going down there, are we? Okay, there's another question mark down there. Let's just take a look. What is that? It's a... Uh, is that a wallet? Yeah, pretty much. Let's have a look. I like how you inspect items in this. This is fun. A library card belonging to Helen Woodward. Okay. How did it get here? Is that someone else who was hit over the head? I assume she dropped it? I... Can't actually put that down. We can't actually have a look at the loyalty card or anything else. What about in this section? No. Okay. Right. Right, so we've actually got a proper inventory and stuff for things that aren't tools. Maybe these are clues or something? I guess. I'll, I'll put that away. Right click seems to put the, the items away. Okay. Uh, another question mark there. What's this? Uh, again, I'm, I'm taking it with me. A nut and a bolt. Sure. Um, great. And it looks like we've got some wire cutters or something here? Okay. But this is a tool. For some reason, I, I don't want to take this with me into other rooms. What do I need the, uh, what do we need the bolt cutters for?
It's, it's holding with the wires. Oh, the I see. The wire cutters are broken. Oh. The hinge on that handle should attach, but it's missing. Oh, maybe that's why I've got the nut and the bolt. Right, I get it. Okay, hang on. Um, there it is. <laughs> okay, this is fun. So you use it. You want to put it in the hole? The handle is not in place. Ah, uh, no, I suppose not. We need to align them, I suppose. So. Okay. And the other side, and the other side as well. That's that's great. Looks perfect. <laughs> okay, we fixed it. Nice. Just cut that. Yep, and that one as well, I suppose. Anything else? I think that might be it. I guess let's just drop this and try the door out. Hey, it slides. It works. Okay. Is that just the door ajar? I'm assuming, you know, whoever called me here, whoever hit me over the head is still somewhere around this house, so I probably should be quite vigilant. Very dark in here. Wish I could really see what I'm doing. Uh, just a load of empty boxes, I think. What about the, the other areas? Can we take the spade or anything? No. The planks of wood, the barrel. Hang on, what's this? Oh, another little trowel. Yeah, okay. Just hanging over the edge. Oh. Is this... Ah, you know what? This could be the, the door that we couldn't open. The, the door that was lacking a handle. Because it had just been installed. I right, don't want that. The toilet probably hasn't really been plumbed in yet, so... <laughs> probably don't want to deal with that. Nothing in the box, no. I, maybe we're done in this area, I don't know. Maybe I just went through it quite quickly. Yeah, okay, well, I guess I can come back. Or, you know what, tell you what. Let's just bring these with me, I, I don't know. I might need them again. Whoa. Ooh, shit. shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, mm. Can I open the door? Oh, geez. Do I have to drop stuff to open doors? Yes, you do. That's really weird. Why can't I use my left hand? Do I seriously not have a flashlight or anything? This is so dark. Okay. It It's pretty much pitch black. I'm just going to be sort of walking around the outside of this room. Oh! Okay. That gave me a bit of a jump, honestly. <laughs> oh, what? No, 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 no. Are you going back through here? I don't even want to go back. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully I don't need the tools up ahead, because I don't know if I'll be able to get them again, to be honest. Okay. So far, so good with this game, I think. This is quite fun. Ah, I need a key to open this up, I guess, to mess with the electricity. Sure. What's this? Wow, alright. Um, can I read any of this? Oh, hang on. Uh, the... What was that? The fuse box opener is locked in the old house in my duffel bag. Okay, in the old house in my duffel bag. So we're looking for a duffel bag. I will keep an eye out for a duffel bag. Uh huh. Um, doesn't look like the duffel bag's in here. And, you know, aside from pallets and a few more boxes, there doesn't seem to be too much else. What about this door? Can we open this? No, again, same problem as the first one. It doesn't have a handle. Hang on. Oh. The dragging stain again. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see that, to be honest. Uh, yeah, you're right, though. Someone, I assume, was dragged down these steps into the... Well, would this be the, the ground floor or the basement, maybe? I don't like the look of that dark corridor. Nor do I. Let's see if the light switch is working. Is the light switch around here? Oh, yes. No, it is. Okay. <laughs> I would have bet money against it, honestly, but okay, it seems to be working for now. Right, this one has a handle. Oh, bloody hell, it works. Oh, blocked in? No? No, we're out. Escape! Finally, out of the house. Okay. We seem to be making some progress here. Um, I am going to go back inside, though, because it seems like a silly idea. I just want to find if there's any more tools, you know? It's probably not going to be as simple as just leaving, is it? 
Might be. Anyway, nothing under the stairs that I can see. Can I go through there? Let's have a look at some of the rooms in this corridor. What was that? This is it's a pretty unnerving game, really. Um, some sort of carpet cleaner? I, I don't know what that would be, to be honest. Flat pack furniture, by the looks of it. Got it from Ikea or something similar. Okay. Hang on. What the hell? Oh, God. It's the body. Hang on. Is this, uh, Miss Woodward? Is this, um, was it Helen? Shit. She's... She's dead. Certainly is. Um, what's on her back? What is it? It's dust. Oh, it's dust. I see. It's similar to what I found upstairs on the floor. So she was the one that was dragged down here, I think. Okay. Um, back out of that. There was something, I think, yeah, on her hand. In her hand. What is it? Ooh, she's been here a while. Uh, a note. It's the address of this house. Right. Was she invited here too? Maybe. Night water, 8pm. Okay, and some keys as well. Great. And along with the note, I'm going to actually take them in my proper inventory. This is looking good. Is that all you have? So I can't turn you over or anything, and there's nothing in your back pocket or anything? Okay. Okay. I feel like someone's watching me. <laughs> is that a light switch? Hmm. Maybe it was going to be. Let's see. Can we take any of these? No, I don't think so. Let's continue on, though, I suppose. What, what's in these last two rooms? What's that? Oh! A fl oh, yeah, okay, a flashlight! Yeah, okay. It's F. Just like I thought it might be. But the <laughs> flashlight's pointing the wrong way. I mean, I guess it still works, right? That's all that matters. <laughs> ah. Wait, what's this for? Is there even a light in this room? Oh, over there. Ah, alright. <laughs> not a very good one. Uh, okay, and last but not least, what was meant to be the bathroom, I suppose. Hasn't really been installed. The sink doesn't actually have a hole for the water to go down. That's a bit worrying. Same with the shower. The room's going to get flooded in no time. Okay. Um, let's see. What's this? Can we actually interact with this? No, we can't. I guess next move is to go outside. We've got some keys. I don't think I've encountered any, like, locked doors or anything. Maybe I'm going to find some. Yeah, probably. Yeah. A few doors out here. Let's try them all. Okay, again, missing a handle. Can't interact with it. What about this one over here? No, nope, same thing. Wow. This is not exactly what I was expecting from this game. From the menu. Uh, you know, you just... You see a shitty little template from a menu and you think this game is going to be terrible, but you know, this has surprised me. All the way through. More dark rooms. Damn right. But not for long. Not with this thing. <laughs> I just wish I was pointing it in the right direction. Okay, do we need any of these? I guess not. I'm not seeing any tools mixed amongst them either. Nothing in the buckets? No? I don't know why. I keep expecting to uh, sort of turn up in another workshop again, you know? Maybe clamp some more things down, make a door handle, something like that. So I'm always looking for tools and things I can pick up. But maybe we're sort of past that area of the game. Oh, what's that down there? Why is everything ah. always locked? Oh, I see. Oh, it's a padlock. Hang on. Um, do I still... Oh, you have the keys. Ah, look at that. That's pretty good. Okay. And what's this? Okay. Uh, yeah, that... Was that for the other room? It was. Yeah, brilliant. Let's leave that on. What have we got here? This might be what I was just talking about, honestly. Okay, the, hang on, the duffel bag, right? Anything useful here? Possibly, yeah. It, uh, is that a... What's this? A, uh, that could be the thing that unlocks the, the box, I would think. Ah, I believe this thing can open fuse boxes. I believe you're right, I've seen one of them before. Am I going to take it with me? Uh, truth be told, I don't know. Yes, yes I am. Okay. Anything else? I, I think I saw some pliers, maybe a hammer. I don't want to take a nut or a bolt or anything. That was it. Okay. 
I guess I'll be returning. Crowbar? Surely. Surely I can pick up a crowbar. All those doors without handles? Alright, maybe not. Lots of stuff I can't actually interact with. Lots of stuff I probably shouldn't be meddling with. Hmm, alright, um, sure. I guess we're done for this little area. What about this room here? Move the mattress away, maybe? No? What about this one? Just sort of slumped up against the walls. I thought they might be hiding something, but no, I don't think so. Can't interact with that. Probably for the best. Okay, we're just going to leave that as it is. Right. Right in the air. Oh! <laughs> I thought that. I was like, hang on, maybe I could use the keys like somewhere else or something? Because I only used the one. There was two keys. Didn't realise I left them in the lock. Good thing I spotted that, really. Okay, uh, right click here. Yeah. What about in here? There's something about the audio that's really creeping me out. Right, let's see. Can we go any further? Can we scale the wall and just escape? That'll be nice. Probably not, no. <laughs> it's never that easy, is it? Never. Alright, um... What about these things? What, are these lampshades or something? Or something like that, maybe. Um... This could be the garage that he talked about right at the beginning. What about this area here? I don't know. Some scaffolding. Uh, got a, some rungs on a ladder. Can we climb that? That'd be nice. Uh, maybe we can actually. A bit of tightrope walking. Let's give that a try. <laughs> yeah, I think we can... Oh! Ah, oh, what? I fell through it. Oh, never mind. Maybe not. I guess let's try this door here. Well, it's not locked. Ah, I see. Right. Let's take that away. Move these things out of the way. This is quite nice. I like games like this. One more try. Nice one. Okay, another workshop. So yeah, we are, I think, really sort of pursuing tools as we go through this. Another ladder here. Okay. Oh. Oh, did it come off the top? It's broken, yeah. There's a letter here, which we can actually have a look at. Uh, Dear Mr. Hopkin, uh, This is to inform you that according to our records, as of 12th of July 2001, we still haven't received back the scaffolding or the three suspension ladders you borrowed from the Daredru construction stores on the 7th of June of this year. Please return the scaffolding within 14 days upon receiving this letter. Should you choose to ignore this appeal, we will be passing the matter along to a collection company, which will be obliged to forcibly remove the scaffolding from your possession. To cover any fees or penalties incurred by such action will be your sole responsibility. You will not receive any more reminder letters from us. And, uh, yeah, Anna Catwell is not messing around. She wants her ladders back. Simpson Hopkin. Is that the guy that knocked me out? Maybe. 13 July oh. 2001. <laughs> well, since Subject. I just did this, I'm going to skip through this, but that's Final a nice little touch. Reminder letter. Okay. We actually don't take that with us, though. There you go. What about down here? The drawers? No. This we can't. must be one of the three suspension ladders mentioned in the letter. Yeah. Maybe we need to find all three. I know where two are. Uh, maybe I need to get this one fixed. Um... This does look like a workshop or a storeroom or something, so maybe I can find... I don't know, what would fix that? Glue, maybe? Some really, really strong adhesive? Might have to wait a while. <laughs> maybe some tape. I don't actually know. Let's just sort of scan the cursor over this. I'm kind of treating this like a, a point-and-click adventure game right now. Nothing here, I don't think. What about on the shelf? No, no luck. Can't open this up, even though it looks like a can, and there's nothing in the box. Okay. Okay, uh, well, 
something or nothing that room, to be honest. Um, I suppose we should try the door over here. This is probably to the garage, I think. I think this is how we entered the site to begin with, right? Locked. Or is it? Maybe that's the other key. It is the other key! Hey, there you go! Ooh, spooky. This is the way out. Is it really? I suppose it would be. See if I can get the shutters open? Ah. No? Is it not working? Oh, okay. Hang on. Oh, maybe this? Hmm. Don't know, to be honest. <laughs> that just looks so odd, holding a flashlight like that. Okay, I don't think I'll be sawing any wood. We can probably rule that out. Aha! Okay. Oh, we get to take this with us. Okay, um, do we put this on the scaffolding? Maybe I can climb up the scaffolding now. <laughs> Flashlight's getting in the way. Let's put that away. Yeah, it certainly works. Okay. Up we go. Let's see. Can I climb on the roof or what? Maybe around this side. Uh, yeah? No? Can drop down. Um... Sounds like a good idea, really. Maybe that's my method of escape. I don't know, though. Uh, there's still something I want to really try out. I want to mess with the the fuse box and everything, I think. So, yeah, let's maybe... Let's let's come back later. Feels like if I jump over that wall, I might not be able to get back over, so... Yeah, I'll come back later. Let's go back inside for the time being. This is cool. I, I can't really think of too many other horror games that are uh, sort of set in uh, unfinished houses like this. And it's, it's, it's ripe for something like this, with, with all the tools lying around, all the things you can do. Right, let's try it. Well, the key fits! Okay, now let's see. Everything looks These like it's on. on. Right. These are already on. Oh, what's this? Uh, honey, if the circuit trips again, first turn on the RCD switch, the smallest one, and then the rest of them, the orange one last. Make sure you first hear a click after you turn the RCD on. It may take a couple of seconds, otherwise it will trip again. I need to take a look at this before we hand the keys over to the new owner. Okay. Honey, if the circuit trips again, <laughs> first turn on the RCD switch. I keep forgetting about that. I'm sure there's some really nice voice acting in this game that I'm just kind of ignoring. That's, that's horrible, really. I just, I just never realize. Okay, so we need to find the small one. Um... I think. These are already on. Do we actually not interact with this at all? These are already on. Maybe it's not this we need to interact with. Okay, the circuit trips again. Um, sure. Everything looks like it's working fine. So no, I don't think we need to actually interact with this. Maybe it was talking about something else, or maybe that you know it just hasn't tripped. So maybe I don't need to do anything here. And that was just the same thing we read before, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. Okay. Fair enough. Well, I got this. And I got the address. I guess let's go out and climb over that wall. Maybe there's going to be something else I can find near the, the front of the house? Can we go over? Oh, okay, we can. Sure. Jesus. What? Is it? Oh, there's someone there! Oh my god, I didn't realize. Get away from me! <laughs> Oh god. He was just standing there the whole time? How didn't I see him? Can we... There he is. This is Lightwater Police. Stay where go. you are. You're under arrest. Get down on your knees. But I didn't do anything. Get on your knees, now! You are under arrest. Ah. Is this why it's called Blameless? This is what happened. He was chasing me with a rod in his hand. He must have hidden when he saw the police cars pulling up to the gate. Mr. Malcolm, we searched the yard thoroughly and didn't find any evidence suggesting there was another man. No, 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 he was there. He was the owner who called me. The former owners sold the house due to personal financial problems two weeks ago. 
They moved to a different town on the other side of the country. The private company who owns it now proved all their employees were off-site, having a team building activity that night. How could you not find evidence of him? I'm telling you, he was there. I heard you. Our officers got a phone call from one of the neighbors reporting lights coming on in the house and suspicious person moving on site. They gave us your description. They never saw another man. How could that be? This doesn't make any sense. Let's I... cut the crap. What? It does make pretty clear sense to me. I have to say that I honestly don't believe any part of your bullshit story that you're giving me here. Everything suggests that you murdered that woman. No, I... You found the victim's blood on your clothes and your hands. You had the victim's wallet in your pocket. Wait. And the officers caught you fleeing the crime scene. You. No one else. Guess whose Shit. fingerprints match the ones we found on the victim's body, huh? I know how it looks, but I didn't do it. I don't know why you murdered that woman, but I'll guarantee you're never getting out. Brilliant. You're going down, Mr. Blameless. <laughs> Maybe took it a little bit too far there. Oh, that's so annoying. Is that like the bad ending or something to the game? <sighs> wow, what a low blow of an ending. And now we're treated to this sort of high tempo jazz music in the background. What a juxtaposition that is. <laughs> okay, um, I like the game overall. It did, it did feel like I got the worst ending there. I don't know if that could have been avoided, but Maybe I left some things unfinished. It feels like maybe I left a few puzzles unfinished or unfound possibly I don't know especially in regards to that electrical puzzle thing at the end it, that seemed kind of pointless um, So yeah All in all quite a good game. I've got to admit. I'm not really thrilled with the police work in the game though I mean sure first impressions. It looks like I did it. I admit that there's forensic evidence on the body I've got the wallet in my back pocket sure but, where's my motivation? Why the hell would I kill this woman? Also, don't I have some sort of alibi? Uh, do I have some sort of correspondence with this Mr. Hopkin fellow? I would think so. I mean, sure, it might be forgeable, so okay, maybe we can write that off, but get that body down to the morgue. Get, like, a forensics expert or whoever to determine exactly when that woman died, because I'm fairly sure it was way before I even entered the area. <sighs> Aside from that, though, Good game. <laughs> A lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you back in another video very soon. Yeah? Oh. Oh, that's clever. I wouldn't have thought of that, to be honest. But yes, okay. I might need him again. Whoa. Ooh, shit. shit. It's pretty much pitch black. I'm just going to be sort of walking around the outside of this room. Oh! It's F. Just like I thought it might be. But the... <laughs> Flashlight's pointing the wrong way. I mean, I guess it still works, right? That's all that matters. Maybe. 13 July oh. 2001. <laughs> hey, there you go. Ooh, spooky.